many people say, well, if you don't like this system, what's the system you want to put in? And I'm saying, well, you know, I don't know. I don't know what freedom looks like. We've never been free. Yeah. All I know is that we can't go on living in this slavery system. And if we all put our heads together, we'll find something that does work. Yeah. You know, and I'm of the firm believer that there's nothing really wrong with the system. What is wrong is, is in ourselves. You know, what is wrong is our, our failure to um, put morals above, above law, to mm-hmm. put people above economics and all this sort of stuff, you know. Our failure to do the right thing in all that we do, you know, if we were to do the right thing in all that we do, that would ripple out and the system would have to change around us. Corruption and all of this stuff and war and degradation, this couldn't exist in, in the world if we were doing the right thing and we didn't tolerate wrong behavior. Right. So, you know, that, that's really where, where it all comes down. And if we do that and we change the way we interact with the people around us and the world has to change around us organically, that's really how to do it. And that's the big problem for people is that they want the world to change, but they don't want to have to act themselves. They want someone to simply send them the newsletter and to hear that the world has changed and they can mm-hmm. just continue going to work, you know. And that's the problem, that the fact that they believe they need to go to work and they need to do all these things. You know, most people, unfortunately, who are speaking out against the system don't really want freedom. All they want is a higher wage and less hours. Yeah. That's what they want. <clears throat> yep. And that's an unfortunate reality. So... Rather than uh, trying to see where you'll be in the future, how do you see yourself, or how, how do you see yourself helping people to, you know, get beyond just the newsletter and actually coming together in a forum or wherever to make some kind of change? And how to well, yeah, by, that? by leading by example in what I do, you know, hopefully, you know, me being out here and doing this will inspire people. You know, hopefully the, the fact that I've reached so many people with my voice will inspire people to speak out themselves. Mm-hmm. You know, the fact that I, I always stress to people that, you know, I'm a, I'm a social misfit. I'm a guitar player. I'm not anybody that, that planned this. I'm not anybody to look up to or anything like that. I'm just like you. I'm just a, just a person on the street, the same right. as anybody else. I just decided to speak. And the fact that I did that, I mean, I, I've reached hundreds of thousands of people I get emails from people who say, you know, I was suicidal last night and I listened to your show and you, you saved my life. Mm-hmm. Things like this. And this is incredibly inspiring when you get emails like this from people. And, you know, anybody can make a difference. You really can if you just choose to get involved and lose the stake in the outcome of your actions, you know. You know, we go through our lives just cowed and, and sitting around and doing what we're told all the time because we, we're scared to speak up. And we don't realize that the people that are doing this are just people just like us. It, it, it's nobody mm-hmm. special. There's nobody who has any more value than anybody else. So, you know, just get involved. I think it's really important for people to do so. I and mean, I've created a project called the Full Circle Project, whereby you can find support groups around you. You can go and log on to this site, do a search, find like-minded people in the area and form a support group so you've got that strong group. And just stand up and start questioning authority. Do it in the right way. Do it eloquently. You just ask these people why they believe they have a right of ownership over you. Yeah. You know, do it in the right way. And when you put the strength of the community around you, you can make a difference. You know, we don't have to go and protest. We don't have to, you know, have violent revolution or anything. If we simply withdraw support from this system, yep. you know, non-compliance, yep. and have the support of our community around us in doing so, we we'll change the world in a day. It's really that simple. We hold the whole thing up. So it isn't that anybody has to go out there and get involved. The best way to get involved is to get uninvolved with yeah, the system, exactly. simply disconnect from it. So at the Occupy movement, I was saying it's all very well that you've, you've all got together and you know there's a problem now, but there's no point going and occupying Wall Street because you have no plan. Mm-hmm. You have no plan for the future that you want. You just know that things are all messed up. You don't want this, but you don't know what you want. You don't need to occupy Wall Street. We already occupy the entire earth, but we don't occupy ourselves. You stay home and occupy yourself, and you're going to find that you'll make a big difference. I'm actually trying to push forth, uh, you know, start off with one day a month and hopefully build that up very quickly to more. But uh, the 15th of every month, non-compliance day. If you can stay home from work, do it. But at the very least, don't spend any money. Don't use your credit cards and don't support the system for one day every month, the 15th of every month. Start off slow, see how many people we can get involved, and let's build this up to a global stand of non-compliance against this system. That's what we need, you know? Can you imagine all those dollars not going into the profiteers just one day 
One Up day, one day they were, it would send a Billions shock wave around the planet, brother. It really would. You imagine all the people sitting in Wall Street looking at the screens, yeah. waiting for the numbers to change, and they don't change. They'd be having a meltdown. It would send a shock wave around the world, and it would, yeah, it would it send would. a huge wave of confidence around the world too. People would, would think, yeah, look what we just did. Okay, let's do it two days next month, and then, right. hey, let's just do it a week, and let's just stop spending anything, and let's just start supporting <clears> each other. Until yeah. the system changes and these politicians are held accountable for their actions, you know. We hold the whole thing up, brother. And if we yeah. pull financial support from it just in for one day, it would it would change everything. Just one day of non compliance would change the whole world.